how to take measurements. You'll need a cord or ribbon and your measuring tape. Now start tying the cord around your waist. Keep it on for the whole process, it's a reference. Wiggle around so it sits at your natural waist and make sure it's not too tight. Keep your posture straight and relaxed. Let's start off around your waist. Take your contour right on top of your reference cord. Next is your under bust contour under your breasts, followed up by your bust contour around the fullest area of your breasts. Ensure all contours are taken with your tape as parallel to the floor as possible. The thorax contour is very interesting for jackets and other tailored garments. It's taken under your armpits, above the bust contour line. Down to the hips, find your iliac crests, the upper hip bones on the sides and measure around those for the upper hip contour. Full hip contour is taken at the fullest area around hips and glutes. Pause in the video because I forgot to film the neck contour which is taken at the lower area of your neck. And talking of neck, find the angle where your neck meets the shoulder. Place the tip of your tape on top of that angle. Run your tape over the peak of your breast straight down to your waist cord. It will give you your front shoulder to waist. Without moving the tape, note down the shoulder to bust where the peak is and the shoulder to under bust. Same thing at the back. Find the prominent vertebrae at the lower neck and place the tip of your measuring tape there. Run straight down your spine to your waist for back shoulder to waist. This is easier if you get help. Now place the tip of your tape again on your neck angle and find the angle of your shoulder bones slightly toward the back. That's your shoulder measurement. If you measure across your shoulders from one shoulder bone to the other, you get shoulder width. This is also better with some help to ensure your posture is relaxed and natural. Pausing again for back width, you'll need help for this. Place your tape where the arm meets the back all the way across the other arm. You might also need help for these two next ones. I'm going to use the assistance of some Zello tape to stick the tip of my measuring tape on that shoulder bone so I can get my side measured. Pausing one more time to correct the placement of the tape as it should be a bit more at the top. Now to get your armhole measurement, you can use a flat straight item like a notebook or folder. Or you can just see where your armpit starts at the bottom. Make sure your posture is relaxed as the tape runs down to your waist to get your side waist. Moving the tape a bit to the side, still at the top of your shoulder, to start with arm measurements. Find your wrist bone and run the tape all along your slightly bent arm for arm length. Don't move your tape so you also know down your elbow. Done with the Zello tape, now let's get your arm contour at the fullest area around your bicep. You can force the muscle. Remember you'll want to move in your garments later on. Bend your elbow slightly for elbow contour and wrist contour is taken around the slimmest area around your wrist. Extra points if you get your knuckles contour and top hand length from wrist to middle finger knuckle. These two measurements would only be needed for gloves or very long sleeves. Come down with me to find our legs. You want to take this flowing measurement barefoot. If you're measuring yourself, place your tape under your feet and pull up on your side until the tip reaches your waist cord. The tape should be straight but not tense. That full amount is your waist to floor. Remember your hip bone? Transport that point to your tape for upper hip length. Same thing with full hip length. Try not to bend the tape now from your thigh down and find your knee length where this joint bends. Same with ankle length, taken at the ankle bone. Leg contours are easy. Measure around the fullest area of your thigh to get the thigh contour. The contour of the knee works the same as the elbows. Kneel on one leg to get a bent knee. Calf contour is taken also at the fullest area, this time of the lower leg, and ankle contour is taken at the slimmest over your ankle bone. Now for a fun set of measurements. Run your tape in between your legs, tighten up and place the tip on your center front at the waist cord. Your full crotch measurement is taken where the tape meets the waist at the back. Don't move the tape to get the crotch length from front waist to pubic bone. And these last ones are only necessary if you're having headpieces or hats made, starting with the head contour at the fullest area of your head. Diadem is measured across the crown of the head from one ear to the other. 
and measure from the middle of diadem to hairline to get hairline length. And with this I could make you pretty much anything. <laughs>